Glam Girls, welcome back to my channel. It's Chelsea where we talk about all things glam and all things girly. I am a beauty enthusiast and consultant who loves to talk about everything dealing with beauty and makeup. And the reason why I'm so excited today is because we're talking about some makeup. Yes, like I told you all in my part one Sephora haul, there's a part two coming. Today is part two. There's technically going to be a part three. I don't know if I'm going to do a whole video on it or if I'm just going to talk about the products I'm going to get. But I also have picked up and gathered some other products outside of Sephora. So I'm just going to share a nice, big, cumulative haul of things. Some of these products I've tried. Some of them I have not. So for the ones that I've tried, I'll share with you my thoughts. And let's just get into it. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I truly do appreciate it. And let's get right into this video. So First, I'm just gonna go with what's in front of me. I told you guys in my Sephora wishlist video, I was gonna pick up the Necessaire, the body kit. <sighs> Let me tell you, this was so worth the money. Okay, so in this kit, we get travel sizes, essentially, of their body lotion, which I have here, their body wash, their body serum and then the body exfoliator i have tried each one of these products and i am here for all of them so i'm going to go and order from i'm not going to say least favorite from but from product that i probably won't purchase in full size to the products that i'm like most definitely i'm going to start off with the body serum this body serum is really nice so don't get me wrong like i haven't made my mind up yet but it's basically a hyaluronic acid based serum and it's for the body it feels nice and moisturizing it has a very nice lightweight texture so this is the texture of the serum it feels sort of kind of like a gel and it just blends out really nicely into the skin so i think this product is excellent for people who do have really dry skin and you find yourselves a lot of times using multiple body lotions or body creams to really kind of hydrate the skin i think this would be a really nice product for that type of person so i'm not saying i would never pick this up in the full size but knowing how i am and knowing that there are a lot of days where i barely even want to put lotion on because i'd be lazy this is not a product I'm gonna reach for when I technically don't have to. So that's why I'm putting it as last. Then I would go with the body exfoliator. This is nice. It has a eucalyptus scent. Um, smells really nicely. The beads are also very gentle, so I could definitely see this being honestly a body wash and a body exfoliator. Does it say that? It says it, it, it exfoliates, softens, and renews the skin. Um, but I don't know if they, they also count this as a body wash. Um, but when I, I use the body wash first to cleanse and then I use this and I was like, I could have just used this to wash and cleanse. This is nice. I'm thinking about this one. Like I'm thinking about it. I like it. And the eucalyptus, oh, it's very, very, very fresh and clean. Like it doesn't smell synthetic, at least to me. Um, it smells really great. And then the body lotion and the body wash, I most definitely want to get these when I run out. And I might pick these up before the sale is over just so that I can get a little bit of a savings. Um, but I would say oh, I would put the body wash second and the body lotion first. So the body wash, first of all, I like the cap. It's one of those twist caps like that. So you just twist it and then um, the wash comes out. You don't need a lot. And I think that's why I like this because, you know, for a body wash, this is, you know, maybe a little expensive. It's $25. So, you know, obviously much more costly than your drugstore body washes. But because you don't need to use a lot, then I feel like it can last a little longer than what you might expect. I've obviously put a nice little dent in this because I've been using it every day since I've gotten it and I really like the fresh scent it wakes me up in the morning and also calms me down in the evening um so I think it's perfect for a day or night and I really like the lather like I feel like I'm clean because it gives me a good lather um but it doesn't fill my skin it doesn't leave my skin feeling dry and then the body lotion is just so it's like it's got this like wit like texture but it sits very nicely on top of the skin all while, while absorbing into the skin. So I don't feel like it just sits on top of your skin and you're just like, when are you gonna get in my skin? Um, but it also doesn't absorb too quickly to where you feel like 
did I put anything on? I love, love, love this. And although I tend to have more dry skin on my legs, it, this actually does hydrate my legs pretty nicely. And I think this will be a great body moisturizer, especially for the warmer months that are coming up. The body lotion is fragrance free um, and the body wash has the eucalyptus scent. So I highly recommend this kit. Andrea Renee, you're like 10 for 10 on all the products that you've recommended that I've gotten so far. Okay, then I picked up the Necessaire deodorant gel. So I initially got this and I got the wrong scent. I got the eucalyptus scent and I'm just gonna say I don't want to smell like eucalyptus under the arm. So I did exchange it for the fragrance free one. I meant to get the fragrance free one and I guess I wasn't paying attention when I put it in my cart because that's not what the one I got. Um, so the, I will say the gel, um, texture does feel nice because of course I put the other one on. Um, so this is what it looks like and I'm very excited about this because what stood out to me was that it really does combat the odor and I'm like, that's what I need because your girl can get a little, you know, we can get a little, uh, fragrance under the arms those uh african glands be working okay and i'm not trying to be doing that when i meet y'all in public i don't want y'all to be like she stunk i don't need that so i was like i like that this was really formulated to tackle underarm odor i also like that it has um ooh, what does it have in it it's got a chemical exfoliator in here that is oh here we go it has mandelic acid lactic acid and which hazel water um that's supposed to help even out the skin tone and color under the arms so that you don't have that darker pigmentation and then it's going to um be fragrance free and it's supposed to balance out the ph of your arms which is also supposed to help to level out the odor so i will keep you all updated on this because i am a aluminum free deodorant gal i've tried my fair 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 share since i've been aluminum free for going on four to five years and so i'll let you know if it holds me if i feel like it works and if it's worth the money okay um then i gucci came out with some new liquid matte liquid lipstick. So I picked up one. I got the shade Lizzie Tiger 311. Y'all, my liquid Sephora has Gucci in it. When I walked in there yesterday, I was like, who done told them that they can put Gucci in here and didn't tell me? I did not know. So this is what it looks like. I am so here for the packaging. This gold cap, this is it's so luxe. Um, and so, Here's a swatch. I saw this coral shade and I was like, this is me in a summer. And these are the lips that I like to wear in the summer. So I can't wait to try this. I have not put it on my lips because I am not putting on no liquid lipstick that's sitting out on a demo floor. No, ma'am. But I did put it on the back of my hand. I've actually swatched a few different shades yesterday. And when I went to go wash my hands, it took a minute for me to get the liquid lipsticks off. So I do feel like this is a formula that will last for a very long time on the lips based on how long it lasted on the back of my hand. And then we eventually ended up having to go in with, I think I went in with my makeup remover to finally get all of the residue off. So I'm very excited about this shade here. So excited about this. Cause I love Gucci. I do, I really do. And I love their beauty products. So had to get that. Um, another Andrea Renee purchase is, or a suggestion that she had that I then had to go and purchase was the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in the shade, um, what is this? Foxy Brown. So I wanted to get this in my local Sephora. They didn't have it. So I ended up getting the shade um, dressed in the 90s from the Sephora collection brand and I really love this shade but I I was like I need foxy brown so I'm gonna swatch foxy brown for you so you can see what it looks like and I can already tell I'm going to love 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 this shade I already really enjoy Charlotte Tilbury's lip liners I have a couple already so I was like I just I just need this one and then I'll swatch dressed in 90s next to it because I did want to see like how similar the shades were um so here is dressed in 90s so there's definitely a difference between the two um so you know depending on what shade you're looking for i really do love this shade dressed in 90s 
it's like it gives me a, just a very subtle de definition to my lips. Um, I've worn this a couple times already. I love them. By the way, Sephora Collection Lip Liners, ma'am. I'm wearing one now. I'm about to swatch it. I think I showed you all molasses in my last haul. Maybe I didn't. Yes, I did. Here is molasses. They're so creamy. They're a gel formula. Um, and they last pretty well on the lips too. And then the lip liner that I'm wearing from Sephora Collection is in the shade Hot Sauce. Um, one of you all suggested Hot Sauce and I was like, I'm there, I'm there. So this is Hot Sauce, I love it. And you know, everything from Sephora Collection is 30% off no matter what tier you are all throughout the sale. So I've been checking out some more products from Sephora Collection because of the discount. And let me just say all the products I've tried out are going to be two thumbs up from me. So I'll let you know what those products are um, I've already raved about the liquid lipsticks and I actually bought another one. Let me tell you, this Sephora Collection liquid lipstick in the shade Classy Beige, is that what you are? Yes, Classy Beige, my lips. It is the perfect color for my lips. Let me swatch it for you. I put it on this morning when I went to work and I didn't put a lip liner on and I was like, thank you for making my lips but better. This is the shade. This is the shade of my lips when I don't have anything on it. These lip liquid lipsticks last so long, but they're also very comfortable. I mean, of course they dry down, but I don't feel like they leave my lips looking crusty and dry. I've been raving about these liquid lipsticks now for months. I did I pick up another one? Oh yeah, I have picked up a couple more. Did I tell you all about that? Oh yeah, I did. I did. I did. And my last one. The other one that I picked up during this savings event is shade. Um, 92, this hot pink flamingo shade. Let me go ahead and swatch it for you real quick since we're here, since we're here. Y'all, if you have not tried them, go ahead and give them a try. They are $15 and then of course you get 30% off. Can't beat it, cannot beat it. This shade, what is this, Zero 02? Yeah, Zero 02 is about to live in my purse because it is literally my lips, but better. Okay. Then I got, because you all forced me to get it. You know I love you all, and I'm always here for your suggestions, so I'm just picking. I got so many requests. Chelsea, 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 can you please compare the Say Loose Powder to the, um, ooh, what did y'all want me to compare it to? The Say Loose Powder to Kosas Powder. Then I had some of you all say, can you compare the Say Loose Powder to the Rare Beauty Powder? So, girls, guys, we've got some comparison videos coming up. So I picked up both. I have not used the same one, but I did use the Rare Beauty one today. And the Rare Beauty one, I have light, medium, and I dusted it all over the face. And I was like, okay, <laughs> I'm not mad at her. I cannot wait to do a showdown with these powders. And then for the Say Loose Powder, I picked up the shade Translucent Medium. And I'll do, let's see if I can do some swatches of these so you can see what they look like. I felt like the Rare Beauty powders, in terms of shade, they're, they, they run a little deep compared to what I would have thought, if that makes sense. So if you can go in store, I would say go in store um, so you can figure out what shade would work best for you. So for Say, we've got Translucent Medium. So that's what translucent medium looks like. Can y'all see that? I hope y'all can. And then this is what light medium looks like from Rare Beauty. So I hope y'all can see the differences in the shade. Um, they look like they're about the same shade. So I feel like I can definitely wear both and we can get us some good comparisons on. Um, if you're wondering for the Kosas powder, I wear the shade Comfy to set my under eyes and T-zone and pillowy all over the face. Okay, then I actually debated on getting this next product. I was like, should I get it? I don't know. And then I was like, you know what? I have to do it because now I'm kind of wondering myself, which palette is better? The new Patrick Ta Major Dimensions 2 palette. So you guys know I have to do me a nice little comparison between the two because I'm really intrigued to see which one I like better. Oh. Oh, this is stunning. Oh, she's beautiful. I think I already know which one I'm gonna like better. If you know me, you probably already know which one I'm gonna like better because you all know I love pinks over here. And this, oh my God, I didn't even look at the detail. Look at the detail on the outer packaging. Do you see it lined in this 
Oh, what is this? Oh, it's like a pla. Oh, oh, Patrick Ta. Oh my goodness, she's so delightful. It's like um, I can't even describe this texture here. Sorry, I'm blinding you all. But this, ooh, honey chow. And please, please, please. The reason why I'm doing my haul like this is because I really don't know what video to make next. So you all, please leave me in the comments. Tell me like literally what video do you all want to see me do tomorrow? Like it's uploaded tomorrow. I need help. So you guys tell me what do you want to see? Okay, then um, I picked up, or I should say I ordered from Octoly a pair of Sephora collection lashes. So they have their, I think these are new to Sephora Collection, their Weightless False Lashes. This is their Everyday Flare um, Lash. And so I wanted to give them a try and I will definitely, I'll definitely let you know how they feel, how easy they are to apply. Um, but thank you to Octoly and Sephora Collection for sending these over complimentary. Um, depending on how these work and how I like them, I will be getting some more while I can get them for 30% off. But just from looking at them, they look really pretty. And I think they're gonna just add a nice, beautiful like flare to the eye. So I cannot wait. I'll let y'all know when I do use them. I'm probably gonna use them within the next video. So I'll let y'all know. So I was on the gram of Insta and I saw Morgan Turner do one of her hauls and she was talking about some blushes that she got from this brand called Item. And I was like, have I seen that? Have I heard of that? First of all, these blushes were like $16. And I was like, oh, well, let me get a couple. <gasps> you guys, these are beautiful. So I'm wearing this blush now in the shade called It's Verified. So this is the blush. It's a cream blush um, that they said, it says it's a bouncy cream blush that finishes like a powder. So I was like, well, well let me give this a try. So this shade called It's Verified is beautiful. I've actually worn it a couple of times since I've gotten it. So that's the shade It's Verified. And it really is creamy. I love the feel of it like when I put my finger into the blush. And I'm just like for $16 and then of course, you know, you get a couple extra dollars off. I'm like, well, why not? Here is the shade called I'm Crushing. These are the shades I love for spring and summer. So I'll do a quick swatch. Oh, these are so creamy. So, so, so creamy. Um, let's put this shade right down here. Oh, look at that. So that's the shade called, I think it's it's Crushing. Is that what I just said? Y'all, so there's a few other shades. Yeah, it's, it's Crushing. There's a few other shades of these. I'm like, well, hello. These are stunning just from how they feel. And like, this is my second or third time wearing um, this blush shade called It's Verified, and I love it. It's such a beautiful, like, pink flush, but more neutral. So I think it goes really well with pretty much any eye look that you would have. It's very, very just there, but not there. I've, I applied a very light amount, and then I dusted my face with powder. So when I first applied it, it did offer much more pigmentation, and these are quite pigmented. So you don't need a lot. Tap your brush in there and probably tap that off and then blend. Beautiful. So if you have tried these, I mean, maybe I'm just late, but let me know what your favorite shades are. And if you have not tried them, definitely consider, hon, consider. Okay, then from Sephora Collection, I picked up their Size Up Mascara. So one of my girlfriends were like, Chelsea, this mascara is good. And I was like, is it really? I have never tried any Sephora Collection mascaras. So it is the mascara that I'm wearing today. And I, I will say, this gave me volume. So it says that it's going to give you immediate supersized volume. And I love volume over length because I want you to see my lashes. I would prefer length and volume, but if I got to choose one or the other, I'm going with volume. This is nice. Now I will say it did transfer a lot <laughs> on my lower lash line. So I would probably just reserve this for me in terms of my eyes for my upper lashes because I think you can actually see a difference with the mascara there um, and the formula is quite wet so maybe as the formulation dries I could then consider it for the lower lash line but I wore it today to work I didn't put any makeup on my face outside of just using lips and I added some mascara and when I was done teaching so maybe like a couple hours later I went into the bathroom and looked at my eyes and I was like I look like a raccoon so 
I don't know if you like I said if the formula needs to dry a bit but I will say I really like it it was only $12 pre the 30% off and even if I can only use it for my top lashes like I am thoroughly enjoying this drama let me come in close so you can see it like and I didn't use my lash primer either y'all know I'd be real adamant about using a lash primer then my mascara I did not use my lash curler so I really feel like this is a mascara I can work with even if I can only use it for my top lashes then I picked up a Sephora collection eyeliner. Once again, I've been hearing some things about these things. So I got the dark brown shade called Espresso Matte and I used it today in the waterline. I heard that these stay forever in the waterline. They're also, I think, $13. Um, so I'll keep you guys updated because you guys know I love my Wayne Goss eye coals. I've been only using those if I could say when I say only using them, like primarily using them for over two years now or just about two years now. But you know, I'm always here to learn and you know, open up my doors to other products for me to love. But this was very, very creamy. Like it glided along my tight line and my waterline. So I will keep you updated guys. I will keep you updated. Okay, then I was watching um, Gabe Loves Makeup. Hey Gabe, he was doing a review on the new Dior Addicts, Lip Addicts. So I picked up a couple. I ended up not getting the newer shades, but I did pick up two shades called Atelier and Dior. I think it's Canage or Canage. Forgive me if I said that wrong. So I'll do quick swatches of them. I'm wearing on my lips the shade Atelier. Yes. Yes. And these are so just succulent on the lips. Oh, they are so beautiful and hydrating and they legit glide across the lips. Let's do some a quick swatch here. So this is what Atelier looks like. And I mean, it's gorgeous. So this lipstick, along with the Sephora Collection Lip Liner, is the combo that I have on my lips. <laughs> Loving it. And then this is Dior, I don't know if it's Canage, Canage. Um, it's got the Dior symbol on the lipstick. I didn't show you the other one because I'd already used it. Um, but I also really enjoy these. Here's the Dior Canage right there. It was only after I got home that I was like, I kind of got two of the same shades, but that's okay. That, that's okay. Um, but I, I really enjoyed the packaging. This is my first time owning like a Dior lipstick. Where have I been? At least full size. I have like a mini size. Um, but that's it but like actually purchasing a full size it's my first time so i'm just loving all of the glitz and the glam and you know the luxury of it um but the formulation is what has won me over so gabe you were right this formula stunning it is stunning um and now i'm like well now i know so welcome home oh okay i bought a fragrance so Andrea Renee was raving about Clean Reserve Skin Scent. And so when I went to Sephora the first time, they had this version called Reserve Blend. And I was like, well, I don't think this is the one she was talking about because the one she was talking about, the packaging is a little different. It says Clean Reserve Classic. So when I was talking to the representative at Sephora, she was like, I don't think we have that I think this is the skin one so when I messaged Andrea she was like yes as long as it says it's skin it's the right one however they have the skin reserved on Sephora and then they have the classic one however I've got skin reserved this scent is so fresh oh my goodness it smells like morning like take a shower and immediately spray this on that's what it smells like it's very clean and it's very clean and bright and fresh. Those are the three words that I think of when I smell this fragrance. It's not overpowering at all. This is a very like, I'm here but I'm not here type of fragrance. I would feel very comfortable putting this on and then going on a plane. And I would not feel like I would offend the person next to me because my fragrance is too overpowering. It's too suffocating. This is um, also a very light scent, like in terms of just how it smells. And in terms of its projection i don't think it has a very great projection i also don't think it has the longest longevity as well this is one of those like skin scents hence why the name is probably skin um it's one of those scents that you put on you smell yourself for a little bit and then it kind of dissipates as the day goes on but what i love about it is just how fresh it smells and while i can smell it on my skin 
it's so beautiful they describe it as um or they put it in the family of floral musk and i have to agree this is a beautiful floral musk and it's done so right so before i purchase this large size because this is the largest size the 3.4 ounce yes yes the 3.4 ounce um sephora had as a 100 point perk a little mini size of it so i got this and as soon as i got it and put it on i was like i'm going back to sephora i'm, I'm going back there and i bought this one so if you want to try it um see if you can still get it as a 100 point perk this is what it looks like and it's a roller ball which is great because you don't have to be you know dipping and dabbling so this would be one i probably would, will keep in my purse um but i'm so loving this one this is great if you want a, you know, a fragrance that's going to last you all day and, you know, as soon as you hit the door, everyone will smell you. That's not what this is. This is just really personal. Um, and it's one of those scents. Like, I've worn it to bed. I've worn it just, I wake up, put it on. Like, it's just, it's so beautiful. So, Ulta, their last day of their 21 Days of Beauty had the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base on sale for 50% off. So, I went to my local Sephora, cause you know, Sephora will be trying to outdo Ulta. So when they have certain things on sale for 50% off, Sephora puts those products on sale for 50% off. So I was able to pick up this vitamin and rich face base for not only 50% off, but with my 20% off. I was like, how about it? I have definitely owned this a couple of times. And I think this is just a beautiful moisturizing primer. So I was happy to pick this one up. I, it had been a while since I had it. And I ended up getting it for like $25. And this is normally $64. So when I saw it, I was like, absolutely have to get it. It has to come home. So that it was the last from my Sephora haul part two. Now, oh, nope, I lied. I lied. I got a couple more products. I picked up a travel size of the Skylar Clean Beauty fragrance in this scent salt air. So the major notes are driftwood, sea wood, and, salt, and sea salt. And this is this smells so good. So first, here's the packaging of the travel roller ball. Oh, this smells like ocean air. Like it really does smell like salt air. And it's so light, it's very airy. I think this one has a pretty good longevity. Like when I put it on, I would say a good five or so hours later is when it's, it finally starts to dissipate. But I can smell this on myself pretty nicely for about a good four to five hours. And it smells so nice. So this might be one that I pick up in a larger size. Um, it depends on how often I use this rollerball. If I find myself like reaching for it over and over again, then I'll go and invest in the larger size. And then I did pick up another one of my Olaplex number eight bonding mask. I ran out of this a couple days ago. Like literally I went to go pump and I just got a smidge left and I was like, perfect because it just came in the mail. I love this. I've been using this now for a year. I bought this during the Sephora Spring Savings event of last year. And I just love how it really helps to smooth my hair. It, I do think it helps, you know, in terms of reducing breakages. I love Olaplex. I use products zero, three, four, five, six, seven, and now eight. So I'm an Olaplex fan over here. So I highly recommend trying their mask and really all their products all of the ones that I just listed off. I love them all. Okay, then, alrighty, Char Girl, okay, has extended her Pillow Talk collection once again. So I picked up, now this is not a Sephora, that was the end of my Sephora haul. That was the end of it. Um, so I picked up her Multi Glow um, from her website, because I don't think it's at Sephora yet. So this is in the shade Multi Glow. Oh uh, no, this is in the shade, I think, Dream Light. This was the deeper highlighter shade and i don't know if this is a palette um or what because you do see four different shades but i have already used this and i just swished my brush all the way through it to use it as highlighter and i think this is beautiful so i do or will be doing a review of this you guys let me know like i said what products do you want to see me do a review on first i wouldn't mind you giving me like a nice top three that'll help me out a lot um so i have that i also picked up her new beauty light wand in the shade spotlight and i did use it today so i actually used it all over my face today like i added some here here right under my eye and then down my t-zone and the shade spotlight or the name spotlight ma'am 
beam of light. I cannot wait to show you in that. Actually, let me just go ahead and give you a little quick swatch because you must, you must see this in action. Y'all, you weren't ready, were you? You Look at that. You were not ready. You were not ready for all that. Oh, cannot tell you, my, I cannot wait. Cannot wait to do this video for you all. Um, you probably can tell from my reaction that I am so here. Do y'all see how that, look at that from a distance. Still in your face. <sighs> beautiful okay then I also picked up her new quad this is the pillow talk dreams luxury quad I'm actually wearing it on my eyes today so I took this shade here and just put it all over my eyes I didn't even put a primer down because I was trying to throw this face on real quick um, added this in the middle of my eyes and then on the lower lash line I just added this matte shade here um, and this is my second time using this quad I've got some thoughts. So, like I said, let me know what video you all wanna see next. I, of course, will be doing a video dedicated to these products, because like I said, I do have some thoughts and some things to say. And then, what else? Do, ooh, I finally, you guys, if you watched my Sephora wishlist video, there was one product in there that I was like, out of all the products from Sephora, I want this one product, and I finally got it. Tom Ford Rose Prick. Y'all, look at this packaging. Look, this shade of pink just does it for me. I mean, look look at the packaging. Look, I got the one ounce because it took me so long to finally like break down and get it. I actually got this from Nordstrom because I could have a better point system at Nordstrom versus Sephora. So I got it from Nordstrom and they also had it in Nordstrom. And I was like, I don't have the patience to wait for Sephora. <sighs> okay. First of all, like I told y'all in my Sephora wishlist video, my nasal scent has matured since the last time I smelled this and I love it. So it has three different types of roses in it. Um, all from Tom Ford's Rose Gardens. And I can't remember the, the actual roses off the top of my head, but I'll put them here on the screen. But this, y'all, this is warm. This is sexy. It is spicy. It is spicy, y'all. Spicy. And it's definitely not one that you will forget that's there. It lasts all day because you know I've already worn this. I'm so happy to own her. Like, I could honestly see myself purchasing this in the larger size because I feel like she's gonna be on heavy rotation. She's gonna be on heavy rotation. This is not a scent I will wear to work. I would definitely not wear this on a plane ride because it might offend people. <sighs> but it is definitely a scent that I will wear when I want to be seen and heard and smelled. Okay, now I, Oh, let me tell you about this. So Zara came out with some foundations and concealers. First of all, the shade range is amazing. I think it's like 51 shades of concealer and foundation. However, Zara, if you're watching, I really would like for you to put the actual shade numbers on the website so we can see them when we're choosing the shades. It was the hardest Thing to do you couldn't see the shade number until you added it to cart so I'm going through trying to find my shade or you know try to like narrow it down and I'm like did I already click on that is, is that one in my cart so I literally ended up just going to I would just add shades to cart and then I would go to my cart and go okay now let me see if I can like see a difference between the shades I don't know why Zara made it so difficult but if you could just not make it that difficult so we could just not have such a hard time thank you however that's neither here nor there first of all look at that the packaging is slanted so when you sit it on your tabletop it's gonna like lean a little bit to the side i picked up two shades of foundation because you know i didn't know which one would work for me and actually this shade here does work i did an instagram stories with it and at first i thought this lighter shade was going to be too light but i actually wore it yesterday and it looks great on the skin so kudos to me um, I got the shade N933, and then I picked up shade W941. W941 is definitely too deep for me, um, but I could use this in the summertime, if I, especially if I get like a good tan, I could use it. So 
here is shade N933 and then W941. And I got the concealer in the shade N933. And I'll swatch that. The concealer is very nice and creamy. And y'all, let me just say, this, these are nice. So here's the concealer in shade um, N933. I'm going to need to do me a little video on these products because let me just say, <laughs> the foundation is $19.99. The concealer, I think, is $14.99. And Andrea Renee, I saw her video and I was like, oh, honey, that looks real cute on the face. She was really impressed by it. And I was like, okay, I got to try it. Y'all know I love foundations. And then I was like, Oh, you're cute. You're really cute. But for the most part, I'm here for them. I'm here for them. So those are all of the products, guys, that I have gotten recently. Is that everything? Did I leave anybody out? I don't think I did. I don't think I did. Um, and I cannot wait to do reviews on all of these products for you all because I will, whether it's dedicated reviews or it's just a get ready with me featuring all of these products, I must for you and for me because i'm all over here excited but also for you so like i said if you could maybe leave me the video that you want to see tomorrow and then like chels do this video then these two or maybe just do this video or you know what i don't care just pick whatever order you want just get the content out that is what i'm going to try to do but i would love to hear your thoughts so please leave it down in the comment section below let me know what you have been picking up i told myself i was done but y'all know how that goes I actually have in the mail coming the new one size um, trio blushes and then the trio bronzer. So I do have that coming in the mail. Um, and I'm hoping that's the last thing I pick up from Sephora. But it may not be. So y'all leave what y'all have already gotten down in the comment section below because I want to know. And if you've made it to this point in the video and you have yet to subscribe to my channel, I would love for you to consider subscribing and joining the Glam Girl Squad. And guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. And I really hope to see you, yes you, in my very next video. Bye guys.